Welcome, yogis. In today's practice, our focus is going to be our side body. We're going to work into opening up into the shoulder area, the intercostal muscles connecting the ribs, our obliques, and then the whole side of the hip and our legs. When we are working our side body, we're activating into our gallbladder. And our gallbladder represents um, our sense of courage and helps us in our decision-making process. Additionally, when our gallbladder is in balance, it will help us to get a good night's sleep. In today's practice, we'll start with a yin stretch and then we're going to move into our yang practice, where we're going to move through a couple of flows, creating a lot of heat and opening up into the side body. And we'll finish the practice off with a yin session, where we continue to work the side body, but now in a yin way. So to get started, we're going to come into a cross-legged seated position, bringing the left hand down onto the ground and reaching your right arm high up overhead, getting a nice opening here into the right side of the body. Just feel here into the right side of the body. You can walk your left hand further away or maybe bring your right left elbow down onto the ground. Just feel here completely how your hip, your right hip is connected through your shoulder, your elbow into your wrist. Exhaling here fully and on your inhalation, moving yourself up and over and finding this same opening into the left side of the body. Reaching over, maybe walking your right hand further in or closer in. And then keep on reaching and opening, maybe releasing your elbow down towards or into the ground. And while we're stretching here over to the right, keep on releasing your left sitting bone and your left knee back down towards the ground. Notice what is here. On your inhalation, coming back up, we're going back over to the left side, stretching into the right side of the body. The right side of our body is considered to be our more masculine side. It's our more rational side. And it relates to our future. It helps us to move forward and to let go of our past experiences or attachment. Your next inhalation reaches you up and brings you back over now to the right side, stretching here into the left side of the body. So the left side of the body relates to our feminine side, our feminine qualities, our creative, our intuitive side. And the left side relates to our past and our past experiences. And it relates to our ability to take in. And from here, we're going to bring our hands down onto the mat and we're gently going to move ourselves so that we're finding a child's pose. The knees are away from each other, the toes come together and we're finding a stretch again into the right side of the body by walking the hands over. Maybe your left hand can go all the way back. Stretching here in a bit more yin kind of way. So we're gently releasing down through the shoulder. Letting go of any tension that you might be holding in your body. And connecting here into the right side. Checking in for a moment just to see what you bring with you today on your mat. Noticing how you feel physically. Is there anything you need to take into account today? Notice how you feel emotionally. Is there anything you can leave behind? Is there anything you let go of, can let go of? And then we'll slowly releasing and we're moving over to the right side, supporting yourself with your hands as you're moving. Reaching as far as you can with your left arm, maybe bring your right arm back. And also here, now feel into the left side of the body. Checking in for a moment, observing. Whenever we're checking in, we're going to make sure that we're letting go of any judgments. We just only want to feel what is there, 
notice what is there, acknowledge and be with any sensations, trying to soften here as much as you can, having a yin attitude into this practice, meaning that we're trying to soften our muscle tissue so that this stretch can move into our fascia, into the white tissue, our connective tissue, the tendons, the ligaments. Keep on releasing and keep on opening up, feeling your obliques, the side of your waist, becoming aware of the sensation in your rib cage, the shoulder, the upper arm. And then slowly releasing. Bring your hands out in front and find just a child's pose for a moment. On your inhalation, pulling yourself up, bring your knees closer towards each other and reaching up through your chest in a cat cow pose. On the exhalation, release it back into a child's pose. Doing that again, inhale, roll yourself forward and then drop your belly down, lift your chest. Exhale, pull yourself back into your child's pose. Inhale, roll yourself forward, lift your chest. Exhale, pull yourself back. Inhalation, coming forward, back into your cow pose. Now tuck your toes and push it back, downward facing dog pose. Keep your legs bent for a moment and just feel here into your hips, your legs. Find maybe a little bit of a pulse and then slowly, slowly begin to straighten your legs more and more. Until your legs can be all the way straight and once they are, gently begin to release your heels down and connecting here into your hamstrings, the back of the thighs, the back of your knees, your calves, your Achilles tendons. If you're comfortable, maybe lifting up through your toes and finding your parabandha, as it's called, the activation in your feet, where you lift up through the arches of the feet. And when you feel ready, you can keep the arch, but release your toes back down. Feel now the activation through the inside of the legs, the pulling up on the insides. On your next inhalation, lift your right leg higher behind you. And on the exhalation, bend your leg over to the left side, finding an opening into the hip. Just feel here what is there in your hip. Take a deep breath in. On the exhalation, draw your knee into your chest and step yourself forward into your runner's lunge. Exhale here, lifting your chest. On your inhalation, rounding into the spine. Exhaling. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. On the exhalation, release your back knee down onto the ground. Come onto the top of the foot. On your inhalation, lifting your arms up overhead in your low lunge. Interlacing your fingers behind your head and allow here the back of the shoulders to open up into your chest. So the shoulder blades are gently pressing into the chest. Feel how your hips are sinking forward and down in the direction of your right heel and feel how your chest lifts up in the direction of the sky. Taking a deep breath in. On the exhalation, straightening out through your right leg, bringing your hands down, half split pose. You can keep your toes down or you can let your goes where, go wherever they feel or maybe you want to find more activation and then you push through the heel and pull your toes back towards your knee. Exhale here fully on the inhalation, rebend into your leg. Bring your left hand down and reach your right hand high up, finding a twist, opening up. Keep on reaching and lengthening through the shoulders. Think warrior two here. Take a deep breath in. Bring your left foot over to the left side. Step your right foot all the way back and open it up into a supported side plank. 
lengthening here into the side body. Try to feel the connection all the way from the back heel into the top of your right hand. On the exhalation, release your hand down. Inhale is your cow pose. Exhale is your child's pose. Inhale, roll it up into a cow. Exhale, push it back into a child's pose. Inhale, roll it up. Lift it up through your chest. Tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Straightening slowly through your legs. On your inhalation, lift your left leg higher. Bend your leg, open up through the hip. Feel that sensation here into the back of the right leg. Feel the sensation into the hip. Maybe see if you can lift the right side of your belly button up, maybe a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. On the exhalation, draw your knee into your chest. Step your foot all the way forward into your runner's lunge. On your exhalation, lengthen. On your inhalation, round. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, round. Try to feel that this movement is not moving into your hip, but just into the upper part of your body. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release. Bring your back knee down onto the ground. Inhale, reaching high up, interlacing your fingers behind your head and find this opening again into your low lunge. This time on the other side. Notice what is there. Feel how you can release your hips down, direction of your left heel, and then feel how you can lift your chest up in the direction of the sky. Feel those two opposing forces, your hip going forward and down, your chest going up and back. Taking a deep breath in, straightening through your left leg, bringing your hands down on either side of your foot and find your half split pose to stretch into the hamstrings. So your toes can stay down or they can come all the way up. You're welcome to push through the heel. Just feel what is right for you. Keep on lengthening here and reaching as much as you can. Front of the body is long. Exhale here fully on the inhalation, pushing yourself forward. Plant your right hand firmly down. Keep your left knee in when you gently lift up into your twist, lowering your hips still down direction of your left heel. Keep on opening up into your chest and then push your right foot out to the right. Step your left foot back and find your supported side plank. Bring your hand up overhead, wrapping the upper arm around your cheek, the palm is facing down and the pinky finger is pressing down more than the thumb. Keep on pushing the back outside of your back foot down into the ground and keep on lifting up through your hips. Taking a deep breath in. On the exhalation, release, bring your hands down. Inhale is your cow pose. Exhale is your child's pose. Inhale, roll it up. Drop your belly, lift your chest, cow. Exhale, push it back, child's pose. Inhale into your cow pose. Feel that movement in the spine. Exhale, child. Inhale, roll it back up into your cow pose, dropping your belly, lifting your chest, tucking your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Straighten your legs, feel here into the back of the legs. Maybe pedal a little bit. From here we're gonna find the flowing salutes or sun salutations. Playing around as much as you like to or Choosing for options that are just easier. We're trying here to warm up into the body. So feel here that you can lift and lower your heels down, activating and warming up into your toes. Feel that sensation into the hamstrings. And then press your heels all the way down, exhale fully. On the inhalation, step, jump or float yourself forward, lift your chest. On the exhalation, going forward and all the way down. Inhale again, have a halfway lift. Exhale, fold yourself forward and down. This time, bend your legs. Inhale, reach all the way up. Push your feet down into the ground to lift your hands higher. Exhale, draw your hands into your chest. Samastiti.
Inhale, reach it high up. Gathering prana, gathering energy. On the exhalation, fold yourself forward and down. On your inhale, have a halfway lift. On the exhale, bend your legs, bring your hands down, step, jump, or float it back, and lower down. Maybe with your knees down onto the ground, or maybe with your knees off the ground. Inhale, maybe add a push-up, or not. On the exhalation, lower back down, or lift up on your inhale into your up dog or your cobra. The difference is in the back knees. This is a cobra with the knees down. The up dog lifts the knee up off the ground. On the exhalation, roll it back. Downward facing dog pose. Feel here for a moment what has happened in your body. Pedal your heels. We're going to move with a little bit more flow. So these are the basic options that you have. You can always choose to bring your knees down onto the ground. Push your hands firmly down. Exhale here fully on the inhalation step jump or float yourself forward. Lift your chest. Exhale forward and down. Bend your legs, inhale, pull yourself all the way up to standing. Exhale, samastiti, hands into your chest. Inhale, move it up, feel that flowing sensation on the exhalation, going forward and down, uttanasana, straight forward bend. Inhale is a halfway lift, bend your legs, bring your hands down, step, jump, or float it back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bring your hands firmly down. Exhale fully. Looking forward on the inhalation. Step, jump, float it forward. Lift your chest. Exhale, down. Bend your legs. Inhale. Pull yourself all the way up. Exhale, draw your hands into your chest, down into your belly area. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, folding forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, bring your hands down. Step, jump, float it back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pressing through the hands, feel for a moment how you feel. We're going to do one more. So exhale, fully bend your legs. Inhale, step, jump, or float yourself forward. Lift halfway. Exhale down. Bend your legs. Inhale. Pull yourself all the way up. Exhale. Draw your hands into your chest. Samastiti. And continue on. Drawing the hands down. Inhale. Reach it up. Exhale. Forward and down. Inhale is your halfway lift. On the exhale, bring your hands down. Step, jump or float it back. Add a push up if you like to. Inhale is your up dog. Exhale is your downward facing dog pose. Taking a moment here. Going to move more into the side body now that we've created a bit of heat. Now that we've created a connection between the breath and our movement. And in the side body we're going to use Shiva Ray's dancing warrior sequence. To just open up to move with our breath and to reach into the side body before we find our main flow. On your next inhalation, reaching high up through your right leg, open up through the hip as much as you can. On your exhalation, draw your knee into your chest, step your foot forward in between your hands, bring your back heel down onto the ground. The inhale's a warrior one, just for a moment. On the exhalation, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reaching all the way back into your side warrior or your peaceful warrior. On your exhale, extend it all the way forward in your extended angle pose. Hand can go onto the ground or elbow onto your knee. On your inhale, coming back up, warrior two. On the exhale, windmill your hands all the way back. Step it back, high plank, lower down, chaturanga. Add a push up if you like to. Or on your inhalation, roll it up in your up dog. And we're meeting in a downward facing dog pose. 
Inhale, the left leg goes high up. Bend your leg and reach your knee up, opening up into the hip as much as you can. On the exhale, draw your knee into your chest. Step your foot forward, the back heel comes down. Inhale's a warrior one for a moment. Exhale's your warrior two. Inhale, reach it all the way back. Find that opening into the side body. Exhale, extend it over in the opposite direction. Elbow onto your knee or hand down towards the ground. Inhale, your warrior two, sitting down nice and deep into your left leg. Exhale, windmilling your hands down, step it back. High plank, lower down, chaturanga. Add a push up if you like to or not. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, roll it back. Right leg, inhale, reach it up and open up. Exhale, draw your knee into your chest. Back heel onto the ground, inhale to warrior one. Exhale is into your warrior two. Flipping your front hand and reaching back, deep breath in. Exhale, extend it forward. Inhale, back into your warrior two, keeping your hips open. Exhale, windmilling the hand, step it back. Find your flow back into a downward facing dog pose. Maybe adding push-ups, maybe finding a child's pose for a moment, or maybe coming straight into your down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up, open up into your hip. Exhale, draw your knee into your chest, step it forward, back heel comes down. Inhale, warrior one for a moment. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach it back. Feel that dance, the dance of the warrior. Exhale, extend it forward. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmilling your hands. Find your flow back into your downward facing dog pose. Feel what is good just for you today. Let go of expectations. Let go of judgments. Inhale, right leg, one more time, each side. Exhale. Back heel down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, extend it forward. Find those lines in the side of the body. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands down, step it back, lower down. Find your flow, downward facing dog pose. Staying with your breath. From your down dog, on your inhalation, the left leg goes high up. Bend your leg, open up into your hips. Draw your knee into your chest, step it forward. Back heel down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Reach it back, peaceful warrior. Extended forward, extended angle pose. Coming back up, warrior two. Windmilling your hands. Find your flow back into your downward facing dog pose. In your down dog, roll your spine forward. Find your high plank, bring your knees down, walk your hands out in front. Anahastasana, melted heart pose. Taking a moment here just to come back, to feel, to notice what is happening with both your breath and your mind. Becoming aware of any of the sensations that are there in your body. And then bring yourself onto your forearms, tuck your toes and find yourself in your forearm plank, activating into your core. Find a little bit of core activation. 
Imagine there's a little fire burning underneath your belly button. Now instead of lifting your hips up away from this fire, we're trying to tuck the tailbone under and lengthen through the lower back while we're drawing our belly in away from this little flame. Bringing your right arm over towards the left, rolling over onto the outside, inside edges of your feet and bring your hand high up overhead. Keep on reaching for the floor with your hands, lifting your hips up as much as you can. Feel now how the sides, the obliques are being really squeezed up towards the ceiling. And then we'll be changing sides, bringing your left elbow down. Rolling over onto the outside, inside edges of your feet. Bring your right hand up overhead and then reach your hips up as much as you can and reach your hand up and over in the direction of the floor as much as you can. The shoulders stay on top of each other, opening up here into the right side of the body. And then slowly release back onto your forearms walking your feet in, finding yourself in a dolphin pose. You're very welcome here to bend your legs a little bit and just to feel into the shoulders, find a bit of ease. You're also welcome to straighten your legs more. Maybe you want to lift up one leg at a time and just feel that sensation in the hamstring. If you want to, you're comfortable. You're also welcome to kick yourself up in a forearm balance. And then we're going to meet in a forearm plank. And once we're there, lower your hips down and find a sphinx pose. Lifting up through the crown of the head, opening up here into the front of the body. Feel how you push your elbows down and lift your heart space forward and through. Instead of feeling that you arch here from your lower back, try to feel that you arch from the thoracic part of the spine, that's part between the shoulder blades. Slowly releasing yourself down. Bring your hands down onto the ground. Soften for a, mom for a moment and wriggle your hips, letting go of any tension that you might have built up into the lower back. Bring your hands down next to your shoulders. Just see if you can just be onto your fingertips on your inhalation, lifting up into a cobra. On the exhalation, fold yourself down. Doing that again, inhale, reaching up. Feel this what is right for you. Exhale down. Inhale, coming up. Keep on lifting your chest up in the direction of the sky. Exhale down. Bring your hands down. Now slide them in so that they're into your waist. Stay onto the tops of your feet. On your inhale, straighten your arms into an up dog. Knees off the ground if possible. Exhale, roll yourself back downward facing dog pose. Pedal here for a moment. You're welcome to stay here for a moment. You're welcome to step your feet forward into a straightforward bend. You're also welcome to play around a little bit with your thunderbolt hops or kicking up into a handstand. So the thunderbolt hops is where we kick our heels into our sitting bones. And if we can hover for a moment, we take that as a little tucked handstand, but otherwise we land very lightly back into our downward facing dog pose. All the time, we're really focusing on our hands and our hands pushing ourselves away from the floor. Instead of creating heaviness and a bearing down sensation, we try to create lightness where we're lifting up in the direction of the sky. Working with the breath on the exhale, bend your legs. On your inhalation, kick yourself up. Lightly landing. Doing that a couple of times if you like.
And then when you're ready, landing your feet in between your hands. Inhale a halfway lift. Exhale forward and down. Inhale again, halfway lift. Exhale forward and down. Bend your legs, inhale, pull yourself all the way up to standing, reaching your arms up. Exhale, draw your hands into your chest, Samastiti. Here we're going to find our main flow. It's a longer flow. We'll be working the side body quite intensively. At any time, if you need to feel, you feel you need to have an extra breath or you need to have a moment, you just rest, trying to be really mindful of how your body feels. The most important part of the flow is always just to feel that you can move with your breath. Interlacing your fingers here, releasing your index finger and thumb, finding your Kali Mudra. Kali Mudra relates to the goddess Kali, which is the goddess of destruction, destructing our obstacles. It's a pose where we can focus on transformation and change. Exhale here fully. On the inhalation, reach your arms high up. While your arms go up, lift your left knee up. Draw the knee into the chest and keep on reaching through your fingers. Take a deep breath in. On the exhalation, slowly begin to kick your leg back. You're very welcome to keep your hands here or draw your hands into your chest. Find yourself here into your warrior three. Both legs are strong and straight and we're lowering the left hip down. Begin to bend your right leg without landing your left foot. Bend it, bend it, bend it, and then land your left foot. Inhale the crescent lunge pose. Open up. On the exhalation, release both hands on the inside of your right foot. Bring your left ear down towards the ground in a variation of your humble warrior. Your inhalation reaches you back up, straightens your arms, arms and lifts your right arm up and over. Feel that sensation here into the glute. On the exhalation, bring your hand down, step it back into a three-legged dog. On the exhalation, draw your knee into your chest, kick your foot out, finding your rock star or your fallen triangle pose. Lift your left hand high up and then over your head, find that side stretch. On the exhale, bring your hand down, step your right foot all the way around and open it up now into a side stretch on the other side in your rock star. Exhale, land your hand, draw your knee into your chest, step it forward. Inhale as a crescent lunge pose, reach it up. Interlacing your fingers, finding Kali Mudra. Deep breath in, on the exhale, move it over to the right side. On your inhale, coming back up. On the exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, extend it forward. We're going to go all the way around now on the inhalation coming up. Swing your arms all the way around, lifting your left hand up while your right hand lands. On the exhale, open it all the way up, push your hand towards the side of the room. Take a deep breath in here. On your exhale, land your hand, straighten your leg, pyramid pose. Inhale, step your foot back, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your knee into your chest. Inhale, the crescent lunge pose. Interlacing your fingers, Kali Mudra. Take a deep breath in. Keep your hands here or draw your hands into your chest. Begin to fly yourself forward. Warrior three, keep on drawing your left hip down and activating into your left inside leg. Draw your knee into your chest. Inhale, reach it up. Draw your knee in a little bit more. Exhale, fly it back, either with your hands extended or draw them into your chest. Begin to bend your left leg as much as you can without landing your right foot. And then inhale, land your right foot. Reach high up, crescent lunge pose. Exhale, both hands on the inside of your foot. Bring your ear down towards the ground. Exhale here fully. Inhale, straighten your arms. Lift your left hand up and all the way over. Exhale, release your hand down. Step it back, three-legged dog. Deep breath in. 
Exhale, draw your foot forward and through to your right elbow, step it out. Rock star, find that opening into the side body more than a back bend. Exhale, land your hand, reach your foot all the way around. Inhale, rock star. Open up into the side body, make that your priority. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, land your hand, step your foot forward and all the way through. Inhale, crescent lunge pose. Exhale, open it over to the left side. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach it back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extend it forward, extended angle pose. Inhale, coming all the way around. Swinging your arms, left hand goes down, right hand goes up. Exhale, reach that right arm back. Take a deep breath in here. On the exhalation, release your hand. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your knee into your chest. Inhale, crescent lunge pose. Reach it up, Kalimudra in your hands. Taking flight next, so draw your hands into your chest or keep them extended, lifting up through your left leg. Warrior three. Inhale, draw your knee into your chest. Find that stillness. Exhale, kick your leg back out. Hands draw into your chest or stay extended. Bending into your right leg, landing your left foot. Inhale, crescent lunge pose. Exhale. Release your hands down, humble warrior variation, left ear goes down. Inhale, straighten your arms, lift your right hand up and over, open all the way up into your chest. Exhale, release your hand down, step it back, three-legged dog. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, into your rock star, step your foot out to the left side, reaching up into a side plank variation. Exhale, release your hand down. Inhale, bring your right foot all the way around. Find your rock star. Keep on lifting up through the hips, stretching the side body. Take a deep breath in. Draw your knee all the way forward and through. Runner's lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open it up to the right. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach it back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended angle pose. Inhale, coming all the way around, swing it all the way over. Le a right, land, right hand lands. Exhale, open up, push your hand towards the side of the room. Inhale, reach it up, straighten your leg, pyramid pose. Exhale here fully. Inhale, reach it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your knee into your chest, runner's lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge pose, open up. Exhale, gonna take flight. Hands into your chest or extend them out in front, lowering your right hip down. Inhale, coming up to standing, reaching up, find that strength within you. Exhale, kick it back out, warrior three. Find that stability, bend your left leg, slowly lower yourself down. Inhale, crescent lunge pose. Exhale, hands down on the inside of your foot, release your right ear down, humble warrior variation. Inhale, straighten your arms, lifting your left hand up and over, opening up into the body. Exhale, release your hand down, step it back, three-legged dog. Deep breath in here, on the exhalation, cross it over, finding your rock star, lifting your right hand up over your head. Exhale, land your right hand, step your foot all the way around, open it up into your wild thing variation. Exhale, bring your hand down, step your knee forward, runner's lunge, inhale, crescent lunge pose. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach it all the way back. Exhale, extend it all the way forward. 
inhale, swing yourself all the way around. Left hand lands, right hand goes up. Exhale, open up. Reaching your hand back down, inhale, pyramid pose, straightening both your legs. Exhale here fully. Inhale, warrior, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your foot down, runner's lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge pose, open it up. Taking flight one last time, reaching forward with as little as a hop as possible, pull yourself forward. Inhale, draw your knee into your chest, lift it up. Exhale, release your hands down. Samastiti. Taking a moment here. Taking a deep breath in, stepping your feet away from each other, turning your toes maybe out to the side, refining here our yin part of the practice. Our first pose is going to be our squat pose. So sitting down between your heels, you're very welcome to sit onto a block or a bolster if you have any tension in the knees. So in that case, you bring a block or a bolster underneath the sitting bones. From here, we're going to release ourselves forward and down. Have your palms facing up towards the ceiling. Allowing the back of your body just to open up. Sinking your sitting bones down in the direction of the ground. Sinking the crown of the head down in the direction of the ground. Bringing your focus inwards. Feeling all the heat that you have created. And then just allow yourself to just be. In our yin, there is no real guidance about the breath. However, you can feel that on each exhalation, you can release just that little bit more. You can just let go a little bit more. In our yin practice, we're looking to find our maximum range of motion. Meaning that we're just moving out of our comfort zone. We're just moving into that space where we can feel that change is possible. Where we feel that we would really like to maybe get out of the pose. At no time should we feel any sharp pain. We just want to feel an intensity to the pose. We just want to feel that our body is opening up and that we're gently pulling onto this white tissue in our body. Imagining the fascia as a plastic bag. We're just gently pulling onto this bag, allowing it to open up. If we would pull too hard, we would tear this bag. It tears quite easily. But if we don't pull hard enough, nothing happens. So we just want to learn how we can just find that spot where something is happening. Where we can just find that spot where change can happen. Our yin practice is a practice of mindfulness, a practice of softness and of release. Here you will feel a lot of compression into your hips and the back of the knees. And then you will feel a lot of tension or lengthening into the lower back and maybe the upper part of the back. Soften in all those areas, release into it. Often we're holding on, sometimes we're pushing back. But notice what happens when you just release into it, when you just soften into the stretch, when you soften into the intensity. Most of the time, nothing changes. 
The only thing that's different is that we're now in this pose without tension, without stress. In all these areas where you either feel a lot of compression or a lot of lengthening at the moment, what we're doing with this tissue is that we're effectively dehydrating it. Getting rid of all the fluids. And the goodness in these poses comes really when we come out of the pose and when we find our rebound as it is cold. Our rebound is like a little shavasana in between poses. And that's where all the fluids will rush back into these areas where there was no fluid. The areas that we really squeeze the fluids out. And that rushing back of the fluids will help to get rid of scar tissue or of inflammation. And then while we're waiting in our rebound, we're allowing the tissue just to find a new balance all by itself. So. Effectively, what we're doing while we're in the pose is we're just waiting. We're just waiting. And we're trying to be mindful, and we're trying to be soft, and we're trying to stay and move into our maximum range of motion. And we're going to take three more deep breaths here. And then we're slowly, slowly going to come out of this pose, either rolling yourself forward or back. Now, often when we come out of the pose, we meet a lot of stiffness, a lot of tightness. Quite often we feel really quite old coming out of the pose. If that is you, just take more time. Don't judge these sensations, just feel into them. And we're going to come and lay onto our back or onto our belly in our rebound. And we're just going to stay here. Again, with softness and with patience. This pose is as much part of the pose as the pose itself. So try to treat it like that. Try to stay mindful and just feel the changes that are happening in your body. Just notice. Allowing your body to slowly, slowly come back to find a new connection. Our squat pose is a beautiful pose to release any tension that we might have built up during the flows in our lower back. Create a lot of space now into our lower back and we're going to use that space and we're moving on in our yin practice, connecting now more to the side of the body. So when you're ready, slowly bringing yourself back up into a seated position. We're going to find a side stretch over your right leg. Now you have a couple of options for what you'd like to do with your left leg. You're welcome to find a half butterfly stretch so you can bring your foot on the inside. So we're going to go sideways over the right leg. You're also welcome to extend that leg out to the side and that way find an opening or you can fold it back in like 
a settled position, having here an internal rotation into the hip, and from there going forward. So choose whatever option is best for you. Just feel into your body and go with that option. It is not about your hip, it is about the side stretch into your left body. So to get into this pose, maybe find a bind, bring your hand behind your back or onto the ground behind your back and then slowly begin to release your right shoulder down in the direction of your right shoulder. Now it's quite nice to bring your hand down onto the ground like this to support your head or maybe your elbow can rest onto your leg. If you have more opening, then you can go down lower and maybe your shoulder can come onto the inside of the knee. And once you find that you're in the position, find a position for your arm. So you're welcome with your right arm to go to your left knee. You can push yourself away a little bit with softness. You can keep your bind, but you also might like to bring your hand up overhead. Now you have those options. If you have your head under your head, you might end up here. You're also very welcome to release your hand all the way up over your head in the direction or onto your foot. Feeling just what is right for you. You want to make sure here that we're not building up any tension into the neck. So if your head is unsupported, make sure that that feels okay to have your head unsupported. And then from here, we're just going to soften into this stretch. We're going to allow our body to open up here with a yin attitude, letting go of any tension that you might feel. So your right foot can roll in or it can roll out wherever it goes. Your left hip can release off the ground or it can sink down towards the ground. And now we're just going to allow our body to open up. We're trying as much as we can to keep the shoulders on top of each other. But we're trying not to put too much effort into keeping them there. So we're trying to position ourselves in a way that we then can just keep that. Feeling that opening here and the connection into the left side of your body. So the left side of your body is your feminine side. It's your intuitive side. Side that relates more to your creativity and how you use your creativity. And when we open up in this part of our body, we create an opportunity to learn from our experiences, to learn from our past. Sometimes when you find that you have a lot of injuries on one side of your body, it might be interesting to just look into that and see what, from an emotional perspective, what that relates to. Maybe that means something for you and maybe not. If it not, then feel free to not do that. So we keep on softening down, we keep on opening up and whenever we feel that we create a little bit of softness, softness a little bit of opening, we want to move into that. So wherever we are at the start of the pose, is most likely not where we are at the end of the pose. You might feel a big stretch into the hamstring, into the back of your right leg. And that's okay. Soften into that. Allow that muscle or allow the tissue there to just open up and to stretch. Keep on releasing into your shoulders. Keep on softening into your face, into your throat and your neck. Becoming aware of any tension that you're building up anywhere in your body and see if you can just gently, gently release that tension and notice what happens when you do.
taking three more breaths here into this pose. And after your third breath, slowly release. From this pose, we're gonna straight away change to the opposite side. So taking your time here, there is no rush. Being very mindful and moving very, very slowly. Straightening your left leg out. Bending your right leg so you can find the same position as you had on the first side or maybe a different position. The leg can be bent inwards in your butterfly. It can extend out or you can fold it back into like a settle pose position. And then taking your time when you slowly move over. Now don't assume that whatever you found on the first side is what you're going to find on the second side. Our sides are very different. So you can come in through a bind if you like to or without a bind. You can rest your hand underneath your head so that you don't find any tension. And just take a little bit of time to move in to this pose and once you feel ready, once you have fidget enough and find a position where you feel that you can soften and open up once you're there, then find stillness. Notice what is here on this side. Let go of any expectations. Whatever you met on the first side is not what you're going to meet on the second side. This is a new side and in a way it's a new pose. We're opening up here and stretching into the right side of the body. And the right side of the body relating to our more masculine side, our rational side. This side of our body relates to our future and our ability to let go, to release ourselves from attachment. And notice what is happening here. Often our right side is our stronger side and our left side is our more open side. And maybe that's what you feel, maybe because this side is stronger, maybe you feel more tightness. But then again, maybe not. So just notice, just feel, finding your maximum range of motion, finding that opening into the side body releasing the right sitting bone down in the direction of the ground to create more space, more length into the waist and into the lower back. Constantly scanning your body, where are you holding on? Where are you building up tension? See if you can let go of the tension, see if you can just be in the pose with softness. Working here into our gallbladder meridian. A meridian that when balanced will help us with our decision making process, will give us a feeling of courageousness. 
and well balanced, it will help us to have good judgment. And then taking three more breaths here. Letting go of that last little bit of tension, that last little bit where you were holding on. And then slowly release. We're going to find our rebound. So taking your time coming out of the pose, finding your position onto your belly or onto your back. Being very mindful of the sensations in your body and instead of moving into these sensations, instead of counterposing, we're trying to just be soft. We're trying to just allow our body to find a new balance all by itself without interfering. If you're new to, your, to the yin practice or if you practice a yin where you counterpose, which sometimes is taught that way, then Feel what it is if you're not counterposing. Feel what it feels like if you're not moving. Trying to resist the urge to fidget, to move, and instead to just be still. Becoming aware of how your body slowly changes, how it slowly releases tension or the intensity that might have been there during the pose. Then our last yin pose for today is going to be our sphinx or our seal pose. So we're going to roll around coming onto our belly, bringing the forearms down onto the ground. Your hands can be together or apart. Your hands can be down onto the ground or you can have your palms facing up. This is your sphinx pose. We're sinking down. The elbows are underneath the shoulders. You're very welcome to stay here, or if you like to, you can bring yourself up into your seal pose. In that case, you bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Your fingers can turn out to the side, or you can bring your fingers back, pointing in the direction of your feet. Now from here, we do the same thing as in our sphinx. We're dipping down as much as we can, the arms stay straight, and we're gently pressing the chest into the arms so that the arms can stay straight without putting too much tension in. Letting your head hang down here, allowing your belly to dip down. We have a lot of compression here in either of these poses, the sphinx or the seal into the lower back. And where in our yang practice we would always want to stay away from that, in our yin practice we're quite happy to find that compression. So soften into it, allow the tip of, tips of the shoulders just to move up in the direction of the ceiling. Let your head hang down and just be soft. Our last pose, and we're opening up here into the front of the body, 
shortening into the back of the body. The front of the body relates to how we show ourselves. It relates to the image that we hold up of ourselves. And just feel that, feel into that space and soften into it. Become aware of tension that you're holding here in your hips, your buttocks, your thighs. Allow your thighs to just sink down direction of the ground. Feel that weight bearing down. And this is a pose where we can easily build up or hold on to tension in our belly area, our lower rib cage or our chest. So feel into this area and if it's possible, release tension. Allow this area just to be really long, to stretch it out. In our yin practice, we're stretching, as mentioned before, in the yin tissue of our body, the white tissue, which is the fascia, the tendons and the ligaments. And this tissue stretches very differently from our muscle tissue. Muscle tissue has a lot of blood running through it, that's why it's red. The yin tissue has water running through it, fluids. And it's said that our consciousness runs through this fluid, these rivers, and that signals that get picked up through your nervous system, that they travel faster through the fluids of the yin tissue back through your, to your brain than it does actually through your nerves. Often in this yin tissue we just hold a lot of tension. A lot of our tightness that we feel during our practice is actually not in the muscle tissue, it's actually in the fascia. And this is a beautiful way to release that very slowly. And it takes time for our body to open up. There is never any forcing. There is just an allowing. Don't allow your mind to get attached to any of the discomfort that you might feel. Just notice discomfort and be with it. It is really quite okay. Try to re be really mindful. Try to feel into your body. Try to soften. Try to let go of tension. Then we'll be taking three more breaths here, taking a deep breath in. Feel that you can let go of that last little bit of tension, deep breath.
And then we slowly release. Often it is hard to come out of this pose. Bend your elbows out to the side, both in your sphinx and into your seal, coming down. And once you are down, rolling over onto your back so that we can have a rebound first in our Shavasana straight after. Taking your time here, really feeling into your body, noticing what is happening in your body. Trying to be mindful and alert and trying to let go of any judgments, trying not to think or feel in ways of good or bad. Just feel whatever is there and be curious about that, about that feeling. And our rebound here will move into your Shavasana. So feel here that you can really give yourself time. Our Shavasana, our corpse pose, representing the end of our practice and the beginning of the rest of your life. giving you this beautiful opportunity to let go of anything that you don't want to take with you, anything that you can leave behind. Shavasana representing a new beginning. Allowing your ego here to dissolve, allowing yourself to let go of all the images, all the ideas that you have of yourself. Try to feel that you can just be. And try to understand that whoever you are, whatever you are, is exactly enough. Taking your time here in your Shavasana. And making sure that when you feel ready to come off your mat, so you d that you do that in a very mindful manner. Maybe setting an intention for the rest of your day or the rest of your week. Thank you for sharing your practice today with me. With love and gratitude. Namaste.